I've got a radio that's kind of seeked out by a lot of people. It's hard to find, uh, especially the originals. It's a 1967 uh, Chevrolet Camaro. It'll fit the 67 to 68. Also, the Firebirds. This is the original AM FM radio. It's been completely redone and gone through, polished up. Uh, brand new knobs on it. Uh, got all the presets working, everything, and uh, it's a pretty cool radio. Of course, it's got the little flip on it. You go to AM radio. Traffic over around Shelby on 24. Got a wreck at Mountain View Road at Crossings Boulevard. Flip it back, go right back to FM. Now, what we've done, we've done a full Aurora design conversion on it. We got the little LED operating way over here out of the way, so you don't even got to worry about that unless you want to look at it. And what we done is we took the stereo light, because you're running four channels now, and we put it over here so when you're on FM, it'll light up when you find a stereo channel. It's Casey Musk. The original background light. And, uh, that's how you switch from AM to FM. That's what tonight. the lights do. Uh, it has AM, FM, stereo, auxiliary in, which is automatic. We'll be demonstrating that. It will seek and scan stations for you. It has voice ID if you want it. Of course, it's AM, FM. You shouldn't have to have that, but you can always check it. Uh, auxiliary in is automatic. This is your uh, harness you'll be getting. Uh, you can use the mount or put it in a round hole. This will play a thumb drive and your auxiliary ends right there. That reminds me, i got to get a thumb drive to play. Let you hear it a little bit. There we go. Thumb drive there, you'll get one of these with music on it, files on it. Also, all the manuals on here, even though I give you a paper copy. In case you lose them, you can print them off here, and this video will be on here. So, the auxiliary in this will also charge your phone, your devices. Uh, you still got your push button. Now, on these new ones here, you got a push button, and the knobs operate the same thing. It's kind of neat. Uh, sometimes people have trouble using the knobs and they prefer the push button but now you can have both it also has a voice ID it's got Bluetooth hand-free phone calls it's got a built-in mic right here it's a little bit dirty I need to clean it built-in mic right here plus you get an extra mic in case your car is convertible or a little bit loud you can run it closer to you these uh, built-in mics work very well Hand-free phone calls, voice ID, she talks to you now. Um, it's fully loaded. Right now you're on FM, we done show JM. We're gonna do the seek and scan. All you do is take your tuning knob and turn it up twice. And that's what this little light over here is for. It starts flashing. Now it's gonna start scanning station without the needle moving. I'm gonna show you, show you how to lock on the station even find that station so you can preset it pull out your button preset it and it will identify it for you we'll let it go a few stations it's still scanning and now 800-525-7000 and we'll be right back 451 4883 let's That's go another one find another one Say we like that station there, all we do is turn the tuning knob one time. It starts flashing quick. Now it will lock on it or it will let me find it. There it is. That's the station we had. Pull the preset out and you got it. If you want to know what station it is, just turn it up three times. One, two, three. Nine, two, dot, five. Nine, two, dot, five. She'll tell you that it'll work on AM and FM. In case you're searching for a channel or actually want to know which one it is. Somebody says what channel are you listening to, you can turn it up three times and get that. Treble and bass like you've always had. Makeover. Biblical financial ex renewable energy can visit the Bible. Alright, treble and bass like you've always had. 
your uh, toner and balance, I mean, your toner control is also your balance and fader. And she will tell you when you're in the, which one. Now, if you get your speaker set up, you don't have to worry about it. Go into the fader mode like it's always been. Go clockwise like a 12 to 2 motion. Well, as long as you're moving it and you fade from front to rear, do you find what you want? Stop, it'll beep once, go back to toner. Uh, balance is just the opposite, counterclockwise, like a 12 to 10 motion. And it will do the same thing. Let's go into fader mode. Back it up just a little bit. Fader adjust. Rear speaker, front ones. We're going to balance it out while I'm here all four. Alright, let it beat. Now you're back on treble and bass. Back it back up. Go counterclockwise into the balance. One, two. Balance adjust. Right side. Left side. Let's balance it out. I like it right there, so we'll let it be. Back on treble and bass. That's how everything works on front of the radio. Balance, fader, stereo, AM, FM, seek and scan, finding the station. It's fully loaded. All right, we're going to do the Bluetooth, and we're going to let her help us out. We're going to log it up. We're going to go make sure we're on Bluetooth. We're going to go to our phone, bring it up. We're going to hold the button down. Bluetooth ready to pair. It's going to show up on her phone right there. All we got to do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right, now, so every time we get in a car, we have this phone. When we turn it on, she'll come on there and say Bluetooth connected. All right, we're going to do a voice command. We're going to check out that mic, make sure it's working. You notice your button's lit up. Hold it down. Play music. Play music. I went a little bit quick on there. Playing all songs. Shuffled. Now it's going to go to Bluetooth. It's going to start playing my music. If my phone acts right. There we go. Let's go to music. I didn't have my phone set up right. There we go. We want to advance the songs. There's multiple ways of doing it. You can press that to advance your song. Twice to back up or repeat. Or you can take the you can take the tuning knob and do the same thing. Turn it up. Turn it up. Let you hear it a minute. Turn it up or back it up. Either way, you can do it with the tuning knob or the push button. Now, we summons our phone up with a push button by holding it down. You can also do it with a volume knob. Turn it up twice. Stop music. Put it in pause right back to radio. Now if a phone call comes in, you can press the button one time to answer the call or take the tuning knob and turn it up one click to answer it. To end the call, you can let it hang up on its own. It'll go back to doing what it's doing or you can turn this down a click or hit the button twice to end the call. That's how your Bluetooth and everything works. Voice assistance, voice ID. Uh, auxiliary in is automatic. You'll get a mail to mail cord like this and all you do is just plug in your device and bring it up and hit play.
anytime you want to go back to radio whatever just turn off any device that you got plugged in just turn it off and in 20 seconds the radio will go back to where we had it said if you don't touch it if you want to go quicker just turn it off and right back on we're gonna let it do its 20 seconds make sure everything's checked out right because you might be messing around with cords or something Jesus Let's flip back it's over like it's supposed to So every time you get in your car, you turn this radio off. Uh, it's also set up so the light will tie into your dash lights. So it's lit up now. If you turn your dash lights on, it comes on. Turn your dash lights off, light goes off. There's no need to that bulb burning all the time. Because a lot of these cars don't see uh, darkness. It's a classic car. So you turn it on, she's going to go back to radio. And she's going to log mystery. on to my phone. Bluetooth connected. There we go. Today. Now we're talking USB, about you get the high ideas, D's. Uh, if you want to, you can hide all this because you can operate it here. Idea Plug us in, go straight to it. Child. Advance your songs here, just like your Bluetooth. Or, well, your volume knob. I mean, your tuning knob. You can turn Someday it up. Back up, forward. Now we use our push button to go to pause on this by holding it down one second. Put this in pause. The little light's gonna blink a couple times along with that in there in the corner. And now we're going right back to radio. Same thing going down the road, you want to go to uh, USB, you hold this down one second, go right back to it, or we went up twice on the volume knob that summons our phone, let's go down twice, one, two, back to the thumb drive, depends on how long you're down, whether it goes back to the same song or not, put it back in pause, go twice, right back to pause, going right back to radio, you have multiple ways of working it now, and I like it, uh, this is a original, 1967 Camaro AM FM. They're hard to find. This thing cleaned up nice, polished up good. And I've been showing it, but uh, it's going to a new home. And I appreciate you letting me fix it up. And I've, I've enjoyed it. They, none of these radios require 12 volt consisted to them. We're back on FM. Now I'm laying in Nashville's hottest car. That was hit. I worked at CBS, who was described by some staffers. But I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.